Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving our log equations. Here we have log split it up on both sides. First thing you want to do with log equations, you want to combine them. Okay, think of them as lost siblings. Plus 4 here, minus natural log of x equal to 3. Once you get the logs on both sides, log has a strange property. If it's a division, it's split up into subtraction. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it back. Okay, so here's our original uh, division here within the log. When it splits up, it becomes two logs, but subtracting equal to 3. Now, the reason we do that is if you go on to the math channel here and look up a logarithm. There's a clip I made a while back explaining why such is the weird case. Um, Tucson Math Duck is the channel's name on YouTube. Anyway, type in the logarithm, you'll see it. Uh, back over here, we don't like no logarithm. The way we're going to get rid of is is this. We're going to rewrite this natural log as log of base e. That's what a natural log is. Okay. And then 2x plus 4 divided by x equal to 3. The reason I want to put this way is it's a lot easier, this intermediate step, but it's a lot easier for us to translate it back into its cousin, i.e. the exponentials. What you do is you take the same base, so here's the e, and you are going to swap this two boxes, kind of like a Christmas gift exchange. Okay, once you swap this, now you can breathe easier. Okay. Here, we have a fraction equation. I'll tell my students, just draw a butterfly. Butterfly gets you out of the fraction quicker than anything else. So cross multiply x times e to the 3 is equal to 2x plus 4 times 1, basically. Let's gather all the x terms, ex minus 2. And there's an x term I pulled out, so there's not x here, is equal to 4. And then from here, all you do is isolate x by dividing the con constant in front of it. So here's the answer. All right, should be pretty simple and easy once you learn the tricks behind those. That's how we handle log equations. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a thumb up or a comment. Until next time, have a confident day.